Hello, today I'm here to talk about the Bugaboo Chameleon 3, I think it is. It's the new one, the one that came out in 2017. I have done a video on my channel unboxing it and giving it like a quick review, I guess. But I thought 10 months um, I've been using it, I would do like an in-depth review about the cons and pros about this buggy, what I like, what I dislike, because I get a few questions about it often. Uh, so let's just get straight into it. I actually have a list on my phone so that I don't forget anything. I hope I haven't deleted it because it's been a while. Okay, so I did delete it. But I will try my best not to leave anything out. The buggy is obviously not going to fit in the shot. But I will do like a split screen or just cut into it when I'm talking about a certain part about it. The first thing, I think I probably will start with the positives. That is an all-terrain buggy. I mean, there's the um, donkey, I think that it's called, which is for the mountain. Um, this one's like for like not so much for city life, it's like for walks and stuff. Um, Bear really likes it. I love that it sits completely straight. Some buggies, even when they're sitting straight, they're slightly laying back. And when you have a baby or like a slightly bigger baby that um, has learned to sit up, they really don't want to be slightly laying down. So this is a great buggy for that and it always sits up straight. Yeah, so it's very, very comfortable for the baby and I absolutely love that about it. I love the three-point harness system. It can be quite like fidgety, but it's not as complicated as some buggies because they are all individual, so you don't have to. I'm really zoomed in, am I? I am quite zoomed in, goodness. Can you see me now? Yeah. Um, I, you don't have to like connect like the top and the side one and then try to connect them together. Like they're all individual, so that's really great. And it can be great, like I said, for taking walks with the baby. It's very smooth. I'll go to the park and take like really long walks. Um, and if Bear's sleeping, uh, he won't wake up, which is absolutely great because it's got really good, um, what is it called? like the wheels they bounce instead of like letting the baby take the impact i don't know what that's called i know there's a word for it but i don't know it so i also love that it's a travel system i think with a newborn a travel system is kind of essential i mean it is definitely luxury but it is kind of essential if you have a car as well because the bugaboo the chameleon it's really big so having to put which I now have to do, the base of the buggy and the seat uh, takes up the whole trunk, which is actually my biggest negative, but I'm adding it now because you can also get the adapters for the car seat, and if you're just taking like a quick trip somewhere, you can just like plomp the car seat onto the, the frame. So if I'm doing like the... Why have I forgotten what it's called? If I'm doing the school run, I can just plop the car seats onto the frame really quickly to just take her inside, my daughter. And I don't have to like take him out of the car seat. However, it brings me to my not so great point, which is that it takes up so much space. It's such a faff getting it in and out of the car. I actually struggle to do it on my own. I have to like take out the seat, put it down on the floor, then take out the um, base, unfold it, which most of the time all the stuff in the basket will fall out unless you like tighten it really well. It's definitely a two hand job and slightly a two person job. You can do it on your own, I'm not gonna exaggerate. It is a do on your own kind of job, but you have to put it down and it's not the easiest to unfold either because for them to really fit i have a volkswagen golf so i mean it's not it's not very big but it's still big enough that i can fit loads of things in the trunk and when that's in there i can't fit a single another thing so yeah that's probably my biggest negative uh that it takes up the whole trunk and that is so annoying to fold and unfold 
I was told about this being like a big issue, but I didn't really listen. I thought it would be fine, uh, but it's definitely something that you should consider if you have a car, if you maybe live in the city and you're going to be getting on buses or anything like that. It can be uh, quite big to get in and out of the bus, but overall, it's a very good, high quality long lasting buggy i've had it for 10 months i am not very gentle with it and it can take a lot and i love it i love how far the sunroof is that what it's called my phone holder as i like to call it the little yeah i think it's a sunroof the canopy i think it's a canopy i don't think it's a canopy i love that it goes really far forward so if the baby's sleeping i can just pull it all the way down and he's absolutely not disturbed in there uh you can also face it back and forth which is obviously something that most travel systems can do nowadays i love that you can buy tons of accessories for this buggy because they are bugaboo accessories they can be quite pricey you can get like a um, cup holder, a phone holder, a foot muff. I don't know what else you can do, but you can get loads of bits to add on to it. You can also clip like a um, toddler board, which I actually have. And it's really great, but it's really difficult to walk with. You have to like kind of walk it with one hand. You cannot fold it down into one piece which i actually kind of said before but i didn't mean it make it clear you cannot fold it into one piece you have to take off the seat and then fold off the bottom and then you can put it on top uh which is probably why it takes so much room but that's really really bad i hate that about this buggy you can fold you can fold it into one piece you can fold the b into one piece but not the chameleon uh, I think actually the B is the only bugaboo buggy that you can fold into one piece. The price would definitely be a con because it is very, very pricey. But would I buy it again? I would have to say no. If I had to do it all over again, I probably would get the B, which my partner wanted to get. But I was very stubborn and very set on this buggy. So I was quite blinded by everybody's advice. Even the guy at the store said um, the B would probably suit like your lifestyle better. And I was like, no, 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 I'll get the, the, the chameleon. So if I had to do it all over again, I probably wouldn't get it again. It has a very big storage um, at the bottom, a storage basket. I can fill this storage basket so much. That is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm so sorry my thoughts were a little bit all over the place. I should have done a list and not deleted it, but I did because I wasn't going to film this video anymore. But here I am filming it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe down below. And until my next video, I will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.